Good morning my friends, this is the 11th of May 2015, Mr Max Bliss in the southwest of France. This morning we are greeted with a shocking sky. This is an outrage. This is absolutely disgusting. These are all so-called contrails. Well, we know that this is not what we've always seen under the busiest air corridors in the world, servicing the busiest airports through the decades. You've always had certain airports that have been very, very busy. And they've always had a decent amount of planes, a high number, a high volume of planes servicing those incredibly busy airports like Chicago or London or Paris, many others. We did not see contrails in the sky like this. We did not see persistent contrails like this. We did not see persistent spreading contrails like this. We didn't always have a white sun. We didn't have our skies saturated with aerosols. I just spotted there. And aeroplanes flying around, sometimes at very odd altitudes. That's interesting. I wonder what that plane's going to do when it comes to the contrails. Is it going under or under? over? One would imagine it must be under. Come on, come on. There it is. Let's see. Okay, it's obviously under. That's unusual. That's very unusual. But what is unusual these days when we look up at the skies? Because all we're seeing is the blatant evidence of a covert weather and climate modification program. With a little research, we can find out that this has clearly been in development for over 100 years. The oligarchy, the criminal elites, have wanted to control the weather and climate for very much longer. They want to control everything. They want to ensure they have an age called the Anthropocene. This is a term used by members of the Royal Society that was set up for the very purpose of controlling science for the oligarchy, for the royals. So that they could control society by having the leading edge on the latest technology. It's all used to control society. And we are the victims of a mass deception. We live as free range slaves and they are turning up the thumb screws and they want full spectrum domination. And it is an absolute insult to our intelligence that this can be passed off as normal. This is a horrendous new normal. This is an absolute disgrace. And everyone should be hopping mad and livid. You've got your geoengineers like David Keith and Ken Caldera, Alan Robock and all the others saying that nothing is going on. Well, they absolutely have to know there's something going on because we haven't seen this all our lives under the busiest air corridors in the world. This is a disgrace and it has to stop and they won't get their United Nations Climate Treaty so that they can get a, a, a legal framework in which to start doing this openly, controlling the weather and climate, controlling the hydrological cycles so they can control water and food, forcing us into the bioeconomy so they can force humanity onto GMOs so they can actually physically start to alter our DNA through their Frankenstein foods so they can have further full spectrum dominance so they can move to their transhumanist agenda where they can get technology as a part of our body so they can fully track us and fully control us 
because we'll have no choice because we've got this part inside our bodies. They're using technology to create the scientific infrastructure for a scientific dictatorship. So the world's elites, the criminal elites, can have total control over humanity. But we can stop this, my friends. We must lift the veil of deception. We must expose this horrific agenda. Agenda 21. Sustainable development. This is the legitimization of the enslavement of planet Earth for the criminal elites. This is all sustainable development is, the United Nations post-2015 agenda. It's all it is. It's the legitimization of the total enslavement of life on this planet. It's time to wake up, my friends. Because we have to rise to the occasion. We want clean skies, clean food, clean air, a clean, corrupt, free government. Republics everywhere, direct democracy everywhere. And freedom for all of mankind. We don't want to live with um, wars, with famines, induced famines. All this lack of resources is because the corporations and the banks, which are the tools of the criminal elites, are restricting all the resources. Club of Rome. They made up the idea about the threat of global warming, about the scarcity of resources and shortages of water to try and develop the idea, the concept of self-loathing because they're trying to make mankind the enemy to the planet. Well, look to the Rand Corporation in the 60s. They were the ones who were developing the weather and climate modification programs. The National Science Foundation of America. And many institutes working together. Over 100 nations have been working together to develop this weather and climate modification as JFK talked about in 1961 at the United Nations Assembly on the 25th of September that all nations will work together to accurately predict and eventually control the weather owning the weather by 2025 a military symposium on how to control the weather well you know that's only part of the story there's so much to this, and you have to do the research to verify the information from credible sources, and you will quite quickly begin to piece together the facts. And that's what needs to happen, my friends. We need to know what's going on, because there's so many silly spin stories out there designed to discredit those waking up so that we don't gain momentum. Well, after a while, you sift through those and then you're left with the bare facts. The criminal elites have been working over 100 years to learn how to covertly control the weather and climate. The goals are to control water supply, control food supply, control nations, control we the people to bring in their age of the Anthropocene, where they'll control life on this planet completely from the smallest particle using nanotechnology and bioscience up to the outer regions of our atmosphere using ionospheric heaters, such as HARP and IceCat 3D and satellites and all sorts of other technologies. It's time to wake up. How many hundreds of thousands of people have died during the development of this weather and climate modification technology? How many strange and bizarre storms that are unexplainable have killed people? How many floods? How many droughts? All of this is part of the geopolitical fallout of their development of these weather and climate modification programs. 
nations have had to change their domestic policies because they're in drought or they're, they're being flooded, their weather's been changing. Thousands upon thousands of people have died whilst this insane oligarchy have been pursuing this covert quest to control the weather and climate. It's time to wake up, my friends, because we're extremely close to the United Nations post-2015 agenda. We're extremely close to the United Nations Climate Treaty. CO2, the plant's friend, which is only 0.0375% in the atmosphere, is supposedly a pollutant now. That's why food producers who have grow tunnels actually buy CO2 generators and use it to accelerate the growth of their products. CO2 is good. They're falsely blaming it for global warming. Well, the intensity you're feeling of the heat on time to time is the fact that a lot of the chemicals they're using to make these contrails in the atmosphere are depleting the ozone. So you're getting burnt because of extra UV. Temperatures overall have not risen. But they're making clouds in different locations. Different types of clouds affect the climate. They use carbon black and that heats up clouds. All kinds of different things happen with generating clouds. And we can clearly see, they say we can't make clouds. Well, all the clouds we can see here in this sky are man-made. All of them. The sky is blanketed. It's not natural. If the planes were not flying like following 9-11 or the 2010 Icelandic, uh, the Iceland volcano eruption when the grounds were, the planes were grounded, there were no clouds. Of course clouds form naturally, but they are increasing the number of clouds and they are doing it in strategic locations for their covert weather and climate modification. The whole call to do climate modification to save us from global warming is the legitimization of the programs they've already got running. It's time to wake up, my friends. We've got to act fast. Take care. Bye for now.